All clear, Gibbon, and they're racing. And the favourite, Captain Great, jumped very awkwardly. Captain Great, he seemed to jump into the side of the gate, and he's about five lengths off them early on. Mr. Harry, Theseus is right there in the early stages. King's Gold along the inside. Crackerjack Ace, Captain Great's also in the scrum there. He's about four lengths off them between them, trying to get a bit closer. Tarzan Man, Albert. Gunfighters in the slipstream. Son of Orimandes, Burwood. Racing for fun in Devon Gold. Theseus has the call by a length and a half. Mr. Harry's along the inside. Captain Great's now only two lengths off them. Crackerjack Ace, and then comes Albert Tarzan Man. Gunfighter could still have a save as they come inside the 400. Captain Great's come under big pressure. Theseus still the one to get a hold of. Gunfighter's on the inside. Theseus going for all he's worth now as they come inside the 150. Paying eight rand a win. Theseus by two or three. Gunfighter. Burwood's running out the pack, but Theseus has gone three lengths clear. And Theseus, number seven on the card. Eight rand the win, two rand twenty the place. You can do the banking out here. Yeah. Gunfighter stays on second. Then came Mr. Harry racing for fun further back in the running. Captain Great, nothing went great for him. Number seven, Theseus, the son of Argonaut. The picture tells the story. He's an absolutely smashing looking individual. He's all about size. He's got the looks, pricks his ears, and the son of Argonaut. Well done to the Johnsons. Riverton stud, 130,000 rand by. I know Michael Roberts, when he won his maiden, he said he's a horse who's going to pick up a few heats. Just went off the boil slightly, but he's come back his last two runs, and he galloped away from them. Gunfighter stayed on second. Then came Mr. Harry further back in the running. As for Captain Great, seemed to jump sideways into the machine as the gates opened, and then he, he made up some ground, but coming to the 250 was flat. And it's Theseus, drifted from the middle of the course to the inside of the course, but he's well in command, and he'll draw away for the victory. Gunfighter, who moved up well at the 300, stays on second. Mr. Harry, racing for fun, running on late on in the day. That's it from myself, Sheldon Peters. There's a beautiful shot of number seven, Theseus, the big white blaze, as we hand you back to the studio. We've just seen the running of the ninth and final race here at Scottsville Racecourse and a very impressive winner, the three-year-old son of Argo North, number seven, Theseus from the Michael Roberts stable. Has come under a very good ride from uh, Keegan Demello. Keegs looked really easy. Yes, um, yes, um, I think he's quite a nice little horse. Um, he he did it with me last time. He came out the gate so nicely with me last time, and um, I set him a light. I didn't know him, and I set him a light quite early. And um, today I sat in on him, sat in on him a little bit, and um, when I asked him the question, he he won quite nicely. They're definitely more in the tank. I was just saying on here. I think this is a progressive type. I've I've followed it through in its racing career. Although it's been through a bit of a, a bad patch, uh, that, that type of win says there's more. Yes, definitely. I think we've we've learned how to ride him now, and um, I think he's a he's a six furlong specialist, you know. And um, I think they'll have a little bit of fun with him. The gelding obviously helped. Yes, yeah. Um, he was quite a, a naughty little boy, and um, I think that just helped a little bit. All right, Keeks, nice to uh, close off the meeting with the winner. Great ride. Yes, thanks. It's been a long day. Just a uh, big thank you to Mr. Roberts and to the whole Johnson family. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Keeks. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, call Mr. Roberts, if uh, Mark would mind coming through there. You, 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 can, you can come first, and then we'll uh, chat to Mr. Johnson. Mark, very impressive. I must uh, admit, I, I watched this uh, runner when it won its maiden, and you've always thought it had a bit of ability, and uh, it's come right with the gelding. Yes, he's... Uh you know, he's a very nice horse. I mean, uh, the big, strong, strapping son of um, Argonaut, you know. And I must be honest with you, I, w I wasn't that, you know, I thought the horse should win on his last run after the gelding at, at, uh, at Gravel because, you know, he wasn't fully, fully wound up and, uh, you know, this is the race I was looking for him. But, you know, being drawn there, I thought, and, you know, I said to Keegan, you know, early on, our filly genial got, you know, didn't run well at all and I thought, you know, she would be in the money. And uh, so I said, listen, you've got to gamble and... and right hand down a bit in the beginning and you know mm, you know get right over and i must say um, all credit credit to him you know you know 
he went straight, we had to go straight, and then he started to go down, and, but he was obviously clear, and he, he got over very nicely, and obviously a, a very big thank you to, to Mr. Johnson, Nick Johnson, and the family, and no, he's a lovely horse, I always had a lot of respect for this horse, um, and uh, no, I think he'll go on from here, you know, and he's a, you know, he's a galloper, you know, and also a big thank you to, to um, Rivet and Stud, uh, that, uh, that bred him, and to my staff and everybody, Thank you very much. Michael, great stuff. Nice to close off the meeting. And yeah, with a win like that, definitely uh, should uh, have some more fun. Yes, and also well done to you. You've got a nice filly as well. Thank you so much, Michael. You're welcome. Let's uh, get uh, Mr. Johnson in. Nick, you must be over the moon with that win. I mean, after the gelding, it's just come out and toyed with him today. Yeah, he, he won very well. Well done to Michael and, uh, and to, to uh, Keegan. Keegan rode a great race. He was you know, widely drawn, which was a bit uh, worrying, but he, he got him over very quickly. And he rode, rode a great race, so uh, yeah, he's come. He's he's back to his best, I think. Yeah, he used it up. He used it a bit in the early stages, and the fact that it still kicked and went again is uh, showing signs that uh, you're going to have some more fun. Yeah, he's got a very big stride on him. He's a big horse, and uh, you know, Michael's always thought quite a lot of him, uh, and he went through a bit of a bad stage uh, towards the end of last year, uh, running on the poly uh, over 1400 and 1600. It's just not his game, mm. but I think he's uh, you know he's uh, he's run a good race today. Great stuff, Nick. Uh, you deserve uh, all the success. Uh, enjoy this one. Well, it's very kind. I'm not sure whether anyone deserves success, but it's, it's lovely to have a winner. Thanks so much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. There we've seen the running of the ninth and final race here at Scottsville Racecourse. It's gone the way of number seven, Theseus. That's from the Michael Roberts stable. Was ridden to victory by Keegan DeMella. We saw uh, Mr. Johnson, Nick Johnson and Benji Johnson are both involved in this one. Very, very impressive. That concludes the race meeting here at Scottsville with an action-packed day. Uh, we'll be back, uh, I think it's during the week uh, for racing, Tuesday at Scottsville.